This video is sponsored by Intel. Hey, what's up guys? So what you know is best here, checking in again for the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge, and we are currently in stage two of this competition. And this is a competition where it features some of the top PC builders out there that are gonna be making some really fantastic gaming machines. And I can't wait to see the final product, but first it's gonna focus on what they're doing with stage two. And the title of this stage is Core. And the first thing you think about when you hear Core, I don't know if this is part of what I think about first, is going to be the processor. And the processor they're gonna be using for their builds is a beast. And they're gonna be using the Intel Core i9-7980 XE Extreme Edition processor. So this fast processor is going to have 18 cores running 36 threads and also it's going to have an Intel Turbo Boost Max Technology 3.0. This means you're going to be able to boost the gigahertz up to 4.40. And basically at the start of any PC build, at least for me, I find that when I put the processor inside of the motherboard, that's when the, the build is really starting to get on the way. And it's the basically the brain of the computer. So if you never built a PC, this is going to be the, the, the one component that you have to make sure you get something that's going to be capable of doing or whatever you're trying to throw at your computer because it's going to have his hand in everything and this processor is just a monster and right now it's going to take a peek at what some of these builders are doing in stage two and first let's take a look at cyber power pc now they should have a really cool looking water cooling system because they're going to be using chrome plate bronze tuning so it should be a very nice touch to add a little different type of finish to the system and then also too they're going to have an acrylic lighting pole inside of the reservoir itself and this is going to have leds to add some colors inside of that liquid and then for their air cooling, they're gonna have a radiator that has 320 milliliter Corsair fans that have 16 RGB LEDs running on two separate light loops. So you're gonna really have some good flexibility when it comes to your colors. And they should be pretty quiet because these are gonna have hydraulic bearings and also rubber dampeners. And last, let's take a look at what Xydex is doing, which I think they're probably gonna have the build that's gonna stand out the most because it's gonna be a really tall build and the setup that they're using for water and air cooling is gonna be ridiculous. They've already outfitted that Asus X X299-XE gaming motherboard to get ready for their water cooling setup. And then when it comes to water cooling for the GPUs, they're gonna be using a parallel loop, which is gonna just make for more efficient performance as moving that liquid in between those cards. And they could be putting in a total of three GPUs, so they definitely gonna to need to make sure they have their cooling on point. And they also have a bunch of fans in this thing. I mean, they have a radiator setup that has nine fans on each side, and all of them are gonna be 120 milliliter fans, and they're gonna have two loops dedicated for the CPU and one loop dedicated for the GPU. So these are just a few of the builders, but I'll be leaving a link down below in the description box so you can check out all the videos for the competitors and see the progress that they're making so far in stage two. So that is stage two, but I'm already excited for stage three, which is gonna be coming very soon. And stage three is gonna be focusing on gear. And one of the pieces of gear in this stage that these builders are gonna be using is some very fast storage. It's gonna be using the Intel Optane SSD 900P series of storage. And so this is gonna be plugging in directly into your motherboard using NVMe. And then also too, it's gonna to provide very fast load times and also very low latency, which is gonna be important for gaming. And so this is just gonna be super, super fast storage that you're gonna probably wanna put all your very heavy intensive things on and use that as kind of your base for being able to load all that stuff very, very quickly. So right now you need to head over to rigchallenge.intel.com. So there you can enter in the competition to be able to win some awesome giveaways, like some um, Oculus Rift headsets and also to a chance to win one of the final gaming machines after they are finally built and the competition is done. So that's pretty cool. And to enter these giveaways, all you have to do is just vote for your favorite team. You can do all this on the website and you just have to tweet out the Twitter handle for that team and also the hashtag Intel Rig Challenge, and then you're automatically entered, you're set to go. And also to be sure to check out the Amazon link down below as well, so you can buy some of the components that's gonna be used in this build, and also some pre-built machines that are ready to go for you. And like always, be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, so you'll be notified when I upload more videos about this competition, and also all the other stuff that's going on in the world of tech. But like always, leave your comment down below what you think about this competition so far, and thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.